So there's something I keep wondering about. Okay. Shoot. I really don't like that metaphor. Yuck it up. That's not very nice. You do realize I'm paying for this lunch. And you do realize that I have money too. Really? How do you make money? I don't see you at a job or anything. That's my dirty little secret. I'll buy next time. So, your question? Question? Oh yeah. Um, you were you were telling me before that you're a were coyote, and I've never seen you actually turn into a coyote, but you've got this hat form right here that you use. So, how does transformation work? Uh, very well, thank you. Uh, coyote man, you know what I mean. I'm just pulling your chain. Anywho, wares have three forms: human, animal, and then this form. All you've got to do is focus, and you're there. So, can you go from say? human to animal, or do you have to go through the half form first? Oh no, we can just jump from one to whatever one we want. Ah, oh, neat. Hey, wait, wait a minute, you said weirs. Does that mean there's other kinds of weird creatures? Uh, lots more. There are the classic werewolves, although those guys don't change when the moon comes out. That's a stereotype. It's good to know, I was tempted to ask. Racist. What? No, no. It's just people keep saying things and... Just kidding. Oh, well... So what other kinds are there? Well, there are werecats. They get mad when you say, You're kitty kitty! <laughs> and there's were sharks. Sharks? Yeah, I know a few. They don't like me. I once threw them some chum, but I had put ghost pepper sauce in it, and when they're in a feeding frenzy, they can't stop eating! Bet you didn't know sharks can get facial expressions, huh? I did not know that. Oh, the looks on their faces. Uh, pure panic. So funny. Well, at least there's no spiders. Oh, there's were spiders. They just don't have a half form. They just dissolve into a swarm of spiders. Oh, God. Yeah, don't piss those guys off. Uh, I won't. So, what other kinds are there? Were crows, but those guys like to keep to themselves. Were bears are fun. Guess where they like to poop? In the outhouse. Aw, uh, aw, uh, that was my joke, aw. Uh. Actually, it was just a lucky guess. Uh, so, dating must be really wild for you guys, huh? Oh, you know it. I even have a girlfriend. Oh, you're dating another were coyote. Better. I'm dating a were rabbit. What? You're dating a rabbit? Uh huh. How does that even work? Well, she can do some great things with her feet in that half form. They make this great flopping sound when she... I don't want to know. ...fights. She also does it during sex. That's the part I didn't want to know about. I mean, the part that I'm trying to figure out here is how two people from a predator and a prey species can fall in love. We do have more than animal intelligence you know we can follow our hearts oh that's that's true i suppose she's also a superhero bunny girl really i know about her uh, she's your girlfriend awesome huh well yeah what's she like hush and pfeffer coyote man <laughs> that's funny you're, you're bad that's not what she says anyways so why aren't there more weirs out going out and being superheroes? I would think her abilities would lend themselves greatly to a super team of wares. There's already lots of superheroes out there. What do we need more for? Well, you're here. I'm a special case. So what's the deal? There's just not the inclination. They don't want to go out and start fighting crime. I know that not every superhuman out there wants to do it. Well, that's true. Uh, there's a lot that go into movie making or construction. Right. So, where do words come from? Seems like an odd direction for evolution to take. Well, it doesn't come from biting each other. Otherwise, Bunny Girl would be a coyote and I'd be a rabbit. Uh, more TMI. But there are lots of origins. Some are mutants, some come from a long line of wares, but they don't know where it started. Some are chosen to be like I was. You? You know, you've never told me your origin. I'll tell you more later, but I was once a normal coyote and was chosen by Coyote himself for a special purpose, which he hasn't told me yet. Bunny Girl was also a chosen type. Oh, you, you certainly do seem to know a lot. Of course I do. Uh, so, last question then. Where do your clothes go when you turn into a coyote? I don't know. 
You don't know? What do you mean you don't know? I don't know! They just go away when I transform! Well, I guess we can't know everything, huh? Yeah! For instance, where's our food? I'm starving! <laughs>